My name is Professor Peter Abrahams. I'm Professor of Clinical Anatomy at Warwick University in England, but I also have appointments in the Caribbean at St George's University and at Pretoria University in South Africa, So, as well as also being a fellow of Girton College, Cambridge. So I have a, a wide international background, all of it in clinical anatomy. Um, originally I was going to be a surgeon and I came out of surgery and went into the teaching, particularly I've done research, but I love the teaching of anatomy. Partly it chose me and I chose it. I wanted to be a teacher and while I was a young resident I actually found that I enjoyed the teaching, published a book, was offered a Fulbright scholarship to, the, to America and in fact uh, that's been how my career has developed. But I really chose it because I love teaching and I love integrating the knowledge of the human body with the practice of medicine. Well this book is the Imaging Atlas of Human Anatomy which I wrote with Professor Weir and some colleagues, Johnny Spratt and, 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 and Lonnie Salkowski, who is uh, at Wisconsin. And what we have done is put together, this is a, a relatively new edition, but the fourth edition has got all the latest imaging techniques, all of them shown in uh, a labelled format so that the student can look at them and learn the normal anatomy. This book contains only normality and is the first learning that a student would have at whatever stage they are to learn what the body looks like in its imaging modalities. And of course, imaging has changed over the last decade or two and many of the techniques, be they MRI, CT or reconstruction CT, are relatively new techniques and are changing all the time. Mainly what makes this book different is the four authors are all radiologists and I'm a professor of anatomy, Jamie Weir's a professor of radiology, the other two are practicing specialist consultant radiologists. So our background is both from England, America, my international background from the Caribbean and South Africa. It means that we've got a very wide spread of knowledge base and Professor Weir and myself have been writing this book for nearly 30 years. So over the last 30 years, CT scanning, MRI scanning, and all the nuclear medicine has changed immeasurably. And so we've seen and kept abreast of how the changes have happened in modern medicine. And I think that's what's special about the book. The other thing that's special about the book, it is simple. It goes through the body anatomically, taking each part of the body. So we have, for instance, the heart area, and here we've got magnificent modern pictures of the coronary arteries and the heart in 3D for reconstruction from CT scans. And we go through, through the chest, through the arms, through the legs, and nowadays with the modern technology, you can even take a whole, if we look at this, you can see a whole uh, thorax and abdomen in a uh, either 3D CT, which again is lovely technology and you can see the three-dimensional aspects, or if we go to the latest in MRI, you can see complete thorax and abdomen in the coronal section of the whole body, and this system is throughout this book. So literally every single structure in the human body is labeled in a simple form for the student to learn the normal radiological anatomy. I think one of the hot trends is that this book is also now on the iPad. So we can see here that we can go into the iPad and all 1,000 pictures are up there and you can see that because the iPad is very good at enlarging and moving, we can put labels on, we can take labels off, we can actually take away the labels completely, we can move through a series of scans so we can go through and look at the structures changing as we go through the heart and chest. Also, because it's got a search facility, any single structure that we want to, we can find and immediately see all the images that that particular structure is on. Uh, and you can see each chapter is a different part of the body. It's anatomically arranged. So there we can go into the abdomen and you can see we can flick through all the images of the abdomen. We click on one, up they come, and we can label them and put the labels on, etc. 
And this is a wonderful new trend that using something like a tablet, that like this iPad or the iPhone, means that you can actually carry around with you a complete bank of the normal anatomy as seen with the modern imaging techniques. In this book, when you get the book, there is a scratch card inside that gives you some pathology tutorials and we're very much hoping on, on the online and we're very much hoping that many of those will soon appear as an iPad or an iPhone version uh, as, as so people can do the tutorials which are pathology. The anatomy is in the book, the pathology will be on the web and on the new smartphone technology.